Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Not having access to the internet, even if it's just for a few days, doesn't seem to be an option nowadays. We are all so connected all the time that even when traveling, especially traveling abroad, we still want to have access to it. The problem most of us have faced in the past has been precisely to have data connection while abroad. Using your existing data plan, plan from your home career is possible, but usually very, very expensive. So I would never recommend it to anyone. So then what's the alternative? The other alternative, which had been used mostly until now, or at least by budget travelers like myself, was to just buy a prepaid SIM card at the destination and then just top it up and use it there. This was usually the cheapest option. But now there is a new one, which I would like to discuss in today's video. The alternative is to buy an eSIM. An eSIM is just like a normal SIM card, but instead of this being a physical one that you need to insert in your phone, it is just in digital format. It is as easy as scanning a QR code and then making a few clicks on your phone and you are all set up. Of providers of eSIMs, there are several, but in today's video, I will be discussing and reviewing the one that I personally used in my recent trip to Canada, which is Olafly. What can you expect from this video? Well, I will of course share my experience using Olafly and eSIMs in general, advantages that I see, disadvantages, and if you are very new to the topic of eSIMs, maybe you will learn a thing or two, although I am no expert on the topic. Also, I must already advance that I was really satisfied with my experience overall, so if you want to check out Olafly, I will leave my referral link and referral code down below in the description. If you use them, you will get 5% discount of your next purchase, not just to buy an eSIM for Canada, so if you want to travel to Canada, but actually they offer eSIMs in more than 100 destinations worldwide, so yeah, you can also use that one and get 5% discount. However, before you just go there and buy your next eSIM, I suggest that you stick to the video because although this worked very well for me, it might not be for everyone. That said, let's go into my review. As I mentioned, I traveled to Canada between June and July this year for a total of two weeks. And although three years ago when I was last in Canada, I didn't buy any SIM card, this time I did. And why did I do that? The main reason or the reason number one was to have Google Maps. I don't need to explain what Google Maps is because for sure you already know it, but it really makes a difference, especially when you don't know an area, it's just so convenient. You make sure that you get to the destination on time and yeah, exactly that you know the way. Because when using physical maps, it's very easy to miss an exit or to miss a turn and then end up driving for longer and maybe getting late to your destination and not being able to enjoy as much time there. So the advantages of having Google Maps is to be able to enjoy more time at the destination be able to plan accordingly and also I would even dare to say that save a bit of fuel with doing unnecessary turns if you don't have it. If you don't have data, unfortunately, you cannot use Google Maps. Of course, you also have the other option if you want to solve this, which is to get a GPS on the car that you rent when you go to the destination. But very often the price or the cost of having a GPS on your car is even more than just buying one of these data plans like the one that I bought from Olafly. The other reason besides getting to places was to be able to check information on the different spots we wanted to visit while on the way, as well as checking the weather forecast. When I was this time in Canada, also the last one, we went to some pretty remote places and we were camping for most of the trip. So being able to check the weather forecast was super useful to plan the activities then the next day accordingly. Besides that, we also have the point of work and the fact that I still wanted to be reachable by my work colleagues if there was an urgency. And then of course, staying in contact with friends and family. These were the main reasons, but of course, once I got the data plan, I also got to use it to check the news, my stock portfolio, pay with my phone, or publish content in my social media. With this in mind, I bought an eSIM of 20 gigabytes for 30 days. And yes, I know I was there only for two weeks, but unfortunately, they didn't have any two week plan, so that's why I bought this one. Also, I went there with my mom and my sister, so the 20 gigabytes were for the three of us to use. We had the eSIM in one device and then we were sharing it with the others. Important to mention as well is that, unfortunately, as I already mentioned at the beginning, the eSIM technology is something pretty new. So only newer phones allow for eSIMs to be placed on them. So please make sure that before buying any eSIM, you check whether your device is compatible with an eSIM or not. On plans, there was another one of 10 gigabytes for 30 days, which actually I should have taken that one because in the end, throughout the whole trip, we only use about four gigabytes of data. And I'm sure that Olafly must have been very happy with us as a customer. And the reason I took the 20 gigabyte one was because the difference was just 10 euros more. And I said, okay, I mean, for this difference, I might just take the 20 gigabytes and then we are safe no matter what it is. And then we can just spend as much as we like without pretty much looking at anything. 
Important to mention also is that the eSIMs of Olafly only include data connection. So you don't have or you cannot make any calls nor send SMS. You still can receive SMS but not send them. For me this is enough but of course it's something to keep in mind that if you want to have calls and SMS it's not an option with Olafly. The next point to cover is how good was my data connectivity throughout my trip. Before I answer this, let's look at the current data network coverage in the region of Canada where I traveled to, which was mostly Vancouver Island. Checking this for all major carriers in Canada offering cell data there, the coverage is pretty bad as you can see, and there is only data in main cities and mostly around the southeast and center east of the island. The best one is probably Rogers, followed by Telos, then Freedom Mobile, and finally Bell. And by the way, to interpret the map, basically if you see colored parts, it means that there is data connection there. So if I compare the actual data connection that I had while I was there with the maps that we have just seen, I'm very positively surprised because I had internet in most of the color areas and also some areas which are not even colored in the map. Actually, one of the advantages of the eSIM from a provider like Olafly is that it is not tied to any specific career. So they just connect to the career that offers the best network in that specific place where you are. So if it is Rogers or Telos or Bell from the ones that we mentioned earlier, then it connects to that one. If I had bought just a SIM from one of these providers, most likely I would have only had coverage where they have towers and where they provide service, but not in the other areas. The only thing I must mention is that I visited a town called Gold River, which yes, it's in a pretty remote place and I didn't have data connection there. But then I asked the locals and they told me that they did have some data connection. I didn't ask specifically with which career they had the phone contracts with, but that was the only place where I realized that I didn't have data connection while locals did. Except for that, I was very satisfied. And as we saw in the maps earlier on, I had connection in most of those places and even more. And yes, of course, there were many places where I didn't have data connection, but that was simply because they were too remote and there was no coverage by any other company, not just because of all of life. Finally, before I go and give you a short summary of the main advantages and disadvantages that I see, I would like to discuss pricing, how it compared to local SIM cards and why I ended up buying the one of Olafly. As we saw earlier on, in for Canada there are mostly two options possible with Olafly. Either the SIM for 10 gigabytes which cost 34 euros or the one of 20 gigabytes which cost 44 euros. Or actually, if you use my referral code to get that 5% discount, you will get the one of 10 gigabytes for just 32.3 euros and the one of 20 gigabytes for 41.8. Checking two of the local careers prepaid SIM cards, both of them offer the exact same pricing with 40 Canadian dollars for only 2.5 gigabytes or for their best plan 4 gigabytes for 55 dollars. This in euros is 30.59 euros for the 2.5 gigabytes and 42 euros for the 8 gigabyte plan. So if all you're interested is in cell data then you are getting a much better deal at Olafly. Plus, another reason why I ended up going for Olafly is that the booking process is extremely easy and I knew that I wouldn't be paying any additional fees, so something that I wasn't so sure about looking at the other careers website and all the clauses that they had there. Reach this point, let me list here the advantages and disadvantages so you have a final overview. On advantages, we have the very competitive pricing as we have just seen right now. It's very easy to buy and set up and it offers multiple countries. So with Olafly, you can buy eSIMs, not just for Canada, but for over 100 different countries. So you don't need to be researching for local websites, local providers and so on. It's really easy. It saves you a lot of time. It's prepaid, so there's no risk of overspending and it's not linked to a specific network. So technically you are always getting the best data connection because it just connects to the provider that is offering the best cellular data at that location you are based in. Then on these advantages though, we have that the eSIM is not compatible with all phones. As we said, it is mostly only available for newer phones. You cannot make phone calls nor send SMS and you need to be connected to a Wi-Fi network to first install the eSIM. I didn't mention this so far, but actually Olafly has many videos on how to set it up. It was extremely easy, but you just need to keep in mind that to first set it up, you need to have access to Wi-Fi. So with this, here you have my review of the Olafly eSIM from my recent trip to Canada. And you, have you already tried Olafly? If you did for either Canada or any other destination, I would really appreciate it if you could just let me know also your feedback or your opinion down below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to give it a like. Remember that you can get 5% discount of your next purchase with Olafly if you use my referral code down below in the description. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. And as always, see you next time.